The media haunted Macaulay for decades, but it was his own father who made his life a living hell. He was a bad man. He was abusive physically and mentally. Kit Culkin, a failed actor, forced his son on stage when he was just a baby. The family of nine struggled to make ends meet. According to Mac, they couldn't even afford to have one child, let alone seven. I said to her, I said, "Mom, what the hell were you freaking thinking?" Macaulay's acting became their source of survival, but Kit, who is also his manager, craved more at the expense of his son. It wasn't just about getting out of poverty. Greed took over Kit. He wanted to build a multi-million empire with all of his kids in the industry, but Macaulay was the only one who managed to break through. At the age of just ten, the charismatic kid made history with his iconic appearance in Home Alone. Two movies brought the family almost five million dollars, but it was never enough for Kit. Macaulay's father forced him to make 15 movies in seven years. With non-stop schooling and touring, it was far from a child's dream life. I knew that my upbringing was unique. You know, I knew I, I knew it was different. But nothing was worse for Mac than coming back home. He was never allowed to take a break. His life was under threat every single day. Mac remembers his father punishing him if he didn't perform well at his auditions. The actor shared he still carries scars from Kit's episodes of rage. Macaulay did his best to be of help to his family and make his father happy. He gave multiple interviews, yet had no control over his creative projects. I never chose the projects. I never read any of the scripts. The relationship between Macaulay and Kit only deteriorated over time. The Home Alone star had done what his father had so desperately wanted, but could never achieve himself. The actor was certain his dad was jealous of him. Kit's resentment towards his son grew until he started going against Mac's best interests. He requested more and more pay for Mac's work. His attitude made him enemies in the industry as well as for his son. Soon, every movie the boy starred in flopped at the box office, and Macaulay was slowly growing out of his childlike image. Chased by paparazzi and knowing nothing other than stage life, the child star felt isolated and burned out. At the age of just 15, Culkin made the hard choice to finally set himself free. The actor sued his parents and removed them as his legal guardians with no rights to his fortune. It was a shocker for everyone, yet for Mac, this separation was a huge relief. It seemed like a dream for the star and an opportunity to finally take a break and reset his life, or so he thought. Mac was out of the spotlight for a decade, but it didn't really help him. He lost his status in the industry. When he did return, however, the actor had no desire to be typecast or follow his old path to fame. Instead, he chose to star as an eccentric and feminine character in Party Monster. Yet little praise or rather movie roles followed. His bold choice did not lead to a comeback. It didn't take too long before the star hit rock bottom and was found guilty of substance possession. The media tabloids showed no mercy, making money of the actor's despair. Macaulay Culkin spiraled from child star to drug addict. What the hell happened to Macaulay Culkin? Macaulay Culkin is barely recognizable. Previously beloved by millions, Mac was now rejected by everyone, including his fans. The only person who is always on his side was Macaulay's sister Dakota. Sadly, Dakota left her little brother way too soon when a car accident took her life. The actor never fully healed from that loss, but he also didn't let his series of unfortunate events defeat him. Against all odds, the actor began his path to recovery. That I've had to like curtail my lifestyle in general. The star had no agents and only made occasional appearances on screen. He chose to focus on his mental well-being instead. Later on, Mac was able to revisit and deal with his childhood trauma through journaling about his father. The ugly truth about his family was exposed in his memoir. Dear father, we could have stayed poor. You showed me what it was like to be afraid. You hurt people a lot. 
Did you know I had to apologize on your behalf way too many times? You made a lot of people cry. To this day, the actor has not spoken to his father again. Yet acting on his own terms brought Macaulay the life he wanted. Culkin's recent appearance in American Horror Story fetched incredible reviews. The role guaranteed him multiple offers for the future. Even more, Mac's return to Hollywood helped him find the one. When Culkin joined the film Changeland, he met Brenda Song. Due to public scrutiny, the star avoided sharing any details of his personal life. Yet with Brenda, the actor broke his silence. Mac revealed he wanted to be a dad and have a family of his own. Brenda gave him a home and the comfort he needed. Despite a complicated relationship with his own father, Culkin wanted to do his best to break the cycle. In April 2021, the star welcomed a son. The boy was named Dakota to honor Mac's sister. Culkin did what many Hollywood child actors struggle to. He managed to get back on track. Mac has built himself a family and continues to work as an actor. It goes to show, no matter what happened in the past, you can always rewrite your story.